Yo, what's up guys, it's Zen Game Freak here, here to bring you Pokemon Best Wishes, episode 65 review. Um, new shirt, Ronnie3A3, Anime Real Talk TV, Nick is a beast, thank you dude. Um, I just want to get that out of the way before we continue, because someone's going to say something in the comments, like, oh my god, you have a shirt with your logo on it. No, Ronnie sent me this shit, and it looks tight as hell. Anyways, it's besides the point, let's get on to the review. Uh, personally... This episode, uh, you're probably, a lot of people are going to be surprised about this. Uh, the next, the, the title of this episode is, uh, well, at least for me, will be, uh, Belle is Cute. And the reason why is because a lot of her, you know, quote-unquote, annoying moments came off cute as hell to me in this episode. Uh, mainly because we finally get to see how link trading works. Mind you, I find this letter a little retarded that we're just now seeing this, even though it's been a concept since, like, the first damn game. Which doesn't make any sense in retrospect. I don't know why we're seeing it this late in the gens. But whatever. It was a cool, interesting mechanic. And uh, apparently the way it works in the anime is you trade Pokemon over. And they evolve when you send them out for the first time after trading them. Because I thought they Like, I was wondering if they evolved in the Pokeball or some shit. But apparently they evolve as soon as you let them out for the first time in the Pokeball. Uh, after you've traded them. Which, you know, worked out pretty well. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to guess the name of the evolutions because, honestly, I don't know their names in English. I don't know. This is the only gen I've had problems, like, learning the Pokemon names. Mind you, I haven't really looked up their names, and I'm not watching the English version like I was for the other gens because I kind of stopped watching Black and White, like, uh, I think the last Black and White episode I saw was, like, I don't even fucking remember. It was before the Meow shit, so it's just... It's been a while since I've seen like a black and white dubbed episode. Um, but anyways, uh, I can guess here. I know, I know, what is it? The Shelmet, and I think it's like a Scalar Bar or some shit, is the evolution. That's traded over. So the sh And I thought Shelmet evolved into a Scalar Bar, and I didn't realize that they didn't. But they traded. Bell has the fucking Knight Pokemon and fucking... Juniper has Shelmet's evolution, which is our glider, which I find that hilarious because... And you know, the only thing that kind of annoyed me in this episode was the fact that they, you kept seeing the Pokédex like six times. And they also did like this side thing where we, we went in there and we saw... Uh, what is that? It's like gear? It's like, not gear, it's like, the, it's like the gear of third evolution Pokemon was having some problems and there was something stuck in it. Which I thought was originally there to show Juniper's merit as like a doc, as like a Pokemon researcher. Which it did, but it also hints on something that happens, I guess, at the end of the episode. Uh, which I thought was actually pretty interesting. Uh, but anyways, we gotta go through this kind of funny period where Belle can't control her new Pokemon. It's actually pretty funny, but at the same time, it's actually pretty... It's they they do it in a different way than every other anime has done it so far. Like every other region has done it. Like when Dawn can control her Paul Swans. Uh, uh, was it Mammoth Swine? Yeah, Mammoth Swine. They had her go for that. They they keep doing that where they use Team Rocket as a plot device in order to get the uh, Dawn and her in the relationship with Mammoth Swine to grow. They did this with every Pokemon that disobeyed the trainer right off the bat. I like how this gen they were like. Let's have a tag battle and let them get into the groove of each other because it really didn't make sense why. The thing didn't like the thing wasn't listening to Bell. The only thing I, I what I thought was gonna happen was it was gonna be like you weren't strong enough, you don't have enough gym badges and shit. But that wasn't really the case, but it was still pretty cool. And so like you like I like this episode a lot because you, you got to see Jennifer as a more prevalent researcher. Which maybe it's because she's younger and she's the only female out of the four professors we see. But I like her a lot more than like all the other ones. Because all the other ones were like stock as shit. Like Oak, Elm, Birch, Rowan. Rowan actually looked like he was going to be like a badass. But once again, he didn't really do anything. But I thought, he, I, you know, Jennifer's really kicking ass. Like out of all the researchers, she's my favorite. Not because she's a girl, but just because she's actually doing more. She's more involved into the story. And we've actually seen her multiple times. And, you know, instead of like Oak, Birch, and... Rowan and Elm, where we only saw them like like either at the beginning of, of the region or the end. Uh, so the tag battle is like Juniper, Bell versus Silent and Ash. And to my surprise, which I didn't expect this, 
they actually had Silent still win. And I say Silent instead of Silent Ashes because Ash does like a sacrificial blow to, to save Silent's uh, Crustle with his, uh, what the hell is it in English? It's Rock and Roller. I think it's Boldor. That's the English of it. In, um, is the English name of uh, Ash's Pokemon. I think it's Boldor. Boldor, he has it take a hit. So that motherfucker, so uh, like Silent could come in with Crustle and use like Shell Smash and Rock Wrecker and wreck the shit out of both of Juniper and Bell's Pokemon. It was ridiculous. This is what I like about Silent, and this is why I think he's better than Brock. Because even though he's a side character, they don't take away from the fact that he's a fucking gym leader who can wreck bitches. And he still won. He shouldn't be. Like, by, by old school Pokemon logic, I would have expected Bell and Juniper to win purely based on, oh, they just evolved. The episodes were evolving around these characters. That's how it's going to go. And then still that Silent go, fuck that. I'm whooping your ass. Mind you, and throughout the entire battle, you got to see, like, Bell grow as kind of a trainer with her Pokemon. Because it started understanding the whole point when um, Al Glider used Substitute and kind of, like, took extra hits. And I just, like, spit right there. I don't know what the fuck that was. So I thought that was really cool. Like, I really liked this episode. And then at the end, when Bell leaves, I like how this episode is correlating with the next episode. We technically have a three-parter here. But it's done in the right way instead of that fucking tornadoes bullshit. It's actually done where events are happening and they're correlating with each other. Because at the end of it, you see Juniper's father fucking like... What is it? Juniper's father come out of the cave and pass the fuck out after Bell leaves. That's what I like to see. And it's even... It's correlating with the, uh, anime, uh, the game because I believe in the game the same thing happened. So we get to see your father like we did in the game. The only thing about Black and White that's still pissing me off is, as I said, Plasma in that bullshit. I just can't at this point accept it that they're probably not going to show up. Because if they show up this late in the goddamn game, I'm going to be kind of fucking annoyed. Because honestly, the end shit would have set up for a kick-ass final movie for the Black and White region. If they had actually done it right. But no, we're just going to fuck around with it because we're dicks. Um, it, I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. But that's just me. I enjoy the hell out of this episode. I'm looking forward. Mind you, I don't even think I'm going to like the next episode as much. Just because I don't. I wasn't really looking forward. I didn't really care about Juniper, Juniper's father. But uh, in terms of plot, it's very good. Like, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Um, but we'll see. You know, I may enjoy it. And if I do, it'll be a nice ass surprise. But all in all, it was a fucking pretty good episode. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, I'm just going to keep reiterating some things I've been reiterating in the last few reviews. Because I just to see, for those who don't watch every fucking review, which I, I wouldn't blame you, it's like 65 fucking videos. Well, it's not even 65, because mind you, the Team Rocket episodes haven't aired. It's like, it's like 63 videos. That's still too goddamn much. But uh, first, I want to thank you guys for supporting it. Uh, I would love it if you guys left me a like. Uh, because as you know, a lot of kids who come across my videos, see the thumbnail and don't look at the fucking title, go, oh, this isn't a fucking review. Dislike, dislike, dislike. So I, will, I appreciate the support if you do like the videos. Uh, comment with your thoughts on the episode as usual. Uh, as I said in the last um, review, I would like to see if uh, if anyone knows to get like some, like some, you know, some Amer like, how do I say it? Like some Japanese Pokemon Best Wishes DVDs that aren't bootleg. And the bootleg ones are the ones that are obviously the fucking... Uh, the bullet ones are the ones that have like 26 episodes because we all know Japanese don't do that. The Japanese have never done that. And if they do, they do it so late down the line that it's like six years after the shit is aired. Like, so if you can find, like, if anyone can, like, link me or PM me to that shit, that'd be very helpful to any, like, site where I can buy the Japanese DVDs and hopefully, and ho preferably with English subtitles, but I know that some of the, the Japanese subtitles don't fucking do that. But if you can find some, it's most appreciated. Because um, I, I, I kind of just want to hear Japanese audio with English subtitles. I'm kind of just used to that now. Also, apparently a lot of other guys want to see that too. So when if, when I get those links, I will share with everyone. Uh, for those who want to know. But for right now, I don't have them. But uh, as I said, like, comment, all that fun shit. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thoughts on the episode. Uh, beast that shirt for the motherfucking win. Uh... <laughs> Uh, gotta catch them all as a game for the win, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Uh, 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 uh.
Oh, and yes, I do think Belle is cute, so I don't want to hear any shit. I've always thought Belle is cute. I think she has a cute character design. But uh, see you guys later. Peace.